All right, couple of things to look at today, starting with the calendar for the August. We already have the Battle Pass Season 29 that started on Thursday, and it will last until the end of the month. And then on 7th, Overflowing Arsenal is starting, and then Sun for Reliquary Grotto, when that is going to be paid to win a rent. That is all it seems like we're getting in the month of August. I thought we would be getting another update around 19th of August, which will be for the new essences, but I'm not saying that here. Maybe they forget to add that, or we will only be getting one update, and we shall see. The reason why I said we will be getting new essences, because Server Lover is going to hit 400 in uh, about week or so or two week and usually when that happens we uh, see new essences for the new inferno difficulty but uh nothing about that here anyhow at the end of the month winds of fortune event will start on 29th and new battle pass 30 will start as well and uh, that could be something for upcoming major update that should be in september but anyhow that is for the calendar for the uh, august now let's go take a look at one of the posts on reddit someone end up running over 1100 runs of abyssa watch that is about 23 hours of pure watch farming they end up getting 770 abyssal essences and this is what they end up getting after using and converting all the 66 gray runes 6 blue runes 5 yellow runes and 0 legendary since this person was hoarding and saving all these essences until the legendary runes comes out that is today or yesterday depending on when you are watching this and uh, this person did not end up getting a single legendary but they did get five yellow runes and six blue i mean that is pretty bad so i'm hoping after the update goes live this will be a better way of farming the runes but because this isn't uh, something that looks fun 23 hours of gameplay and 1101 that is a bit too much and this person is saying this mode isn't worth playing you are better off playing the acacia tower a lot more chances of getting runes there so there we go uh, hopefully things will get better for the abyssal watch after the update otherwise it is still going to be a horrendous mode for rune farming but it will be somewhat decent if you can also get the normal gems faster compared to the hidden layers in there so maybe it will make it somewhat worth playing anyhow that is all i'm signing off see you all in the next one you guys have a great day later